This is nuts and bolts speed chain with your keyboard shortcuts for grid lines, guides, and rulers, all of which are there to help you lay your content out in a more structured manner. And these are all easy to remember as they all rotate around the F9 key. And here in PowerPoint, let's first talk about grid lines. And there's a couple shortcuts around them. First off, to turn them on or off, hit Shift F9 on your keyboard, Shift F9, and they turn on. You can see these dashed hash marks. And what these grid lines help you do is just lay your content out across all of your slides as these grid lines show up on all of your slides throughout your presentation. Now, a couple shortcuts around them, you can turn a snapping behavior on or off. So if I hit Control Shift F9, I'll either turn the snapping behavior on or off. That turned mine off. So if I hit Control Shift F9 a second time, notice now that my object will try to snap to these different grid lines. And with the snap behavior turned on at any time, you can override it by holding the Alt key on your keyboard. Notice as I hold the Alt key, my object will not snap to any of the grid lines, even though I have that snap behavior on. To turn the grid lines off at any time, just hit Shift F9 again, and you can see all the grid lines disappear. So those are the grid lines, Shift F9. Now let's talk about the guidelines, and there's again a number of shortcuts around them. First off, to turn them on or off, just hit Alt F9 on your keyboard, Alt F9, and you can see I get these guidelines that intersect in the center of my slide. Now these are adjustable, whereas the grid lines that we just looked at were not adjustable. So for example, I could set the upper left-hand corner of my slide that I could then snap all of my content to as I built out my presentation. Now a couple of shortcuts around the guidelines are first to create new guidelines, just hold the control key as you drag. One of these guidelines will create copies so you can set up different areas of your slide for your content. Another shortcut is with a guideline selected, if you hold the Alt key, you'll move it in smaller increments, which will give you some more precision for placing them. To get rid of a guideline, simply drag it off your slide. And if you have PowerPoint 2013, these are now color coded, so you can choose different colors for different guidelines, or you can also now set these on your slide master, but only in PowerPoint 2013. At any time, you can turn the guidelines back off by just hitting Alt F9 on your keyboard, Alt F9, and you can see the guidelines disappear. So those are the guidelines, Alt F9. Now let's talk about the rulers. And the keyboard shortcut to know for your rulers is just to turn them on or off. If you hit Alt Shift F9, you can see my rulers turn off, which gives me more slide space to work with as I lay out my content. When I wanna see them again, I just hit Alt Shift F9 a second time and they pop back into place. With my rulers there, I get these little hash marks of where things are on my slide. The other use for the rulers is to adjust your bullet spacing. So if I want to shorten up my bullet spacing, I can just do that on my ruler. Whereas if I hit Alt Shift F9, I don't see any of my bullet spacing up there in my ruler. So Alt Shift F9 to see the rulers. I can then adjust my bullet spacing. If I then don't want to see them again, I just hit Alt Shift F9 to close the rulers out again. So those are your shortcuts for your grid lines, guides, and rulers, all of which are there to help you lay out your content across your slides in a more structured manner. And again, these are all fairly easy to remember as they all rotate around the F9 key. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.